Here we go with race six now. We're on board with 60, Robert Devaney, as we get ready to go. And he's starting right at the back, John, so we would get some interesting, interesting shots from him. Yes, indeed. Robert is a very, very experienced racer in many, many classes over the years. I remember him in 100cc. He retired for a few years. Now, back in this very competitive pro car class, and, well, it wouldn't be nuts going to Easter if we didn't get some rain. And this will be a very tight one, indeed, from these very experienced drivers. Much, much older than the young ladies and gentlemen we saw a few minutes ago, Leo. Well, Tommy Fagan, 76, on the receiving end of a little bit of help from Giovanni. Remember, he needs to charge to as quick as he can. And when you start at the back, you've got to do all the work in the early laps. There's 77, distinctive yellow helmet of uh, Sean Doherty up front. And he'll be uh, another man that he really needs to get by early. Here's 91. We saw him just diving down the inside from the second row of the grid to take an early lead. That's Gordon O'Brien. And he'll certainly be one of the strong ones in this. Yes, Gordon O'Brien glancing back there. The lot of traffic behind him. There's Doherty in the middle of the traffic with that. Familiar helmet you mentioned, and uh, he's trying to push his way through. He's got the Benny, I think, still behind him. He must have the Atari on board. And there's Sean looking for a gap on the inside of cart 56, Vincent McCaffrey. Manages to take McCaffrey, but our man Devenny doesn't get by first. Still 91 up front, Gordon O'Brien. He's having a good run there, and that looks like uh, 47, Gary Armstrong, putting the pressure on him early on. Yes, and it is. Leo Gary, part of the father and son team, that race constantly in pro cart racing, and John Lappin back up there as well in cart number 22. Behind John, I can't quite make out the number. It's Nigel Stewart. I would expect Nigel to be head of the, near the head of the field in this one. Remember the man we're looking for, number 60, our onboard. He hasn't arrived at the front yet, but as we saw from the onboard shots, he's right up there and really charging his way through. We can expect him to arrive at the front shortly, but a five-back car to train there. It really is close enough. O'Brien pushing very hard, but not really getting away. 47 staying right with him there, Armstrong. There's the yellow helmet of Doggerty. You can't miss that man going through. We've seen him go well before in RPM. There's another man on the move there, number 23, that's Armstrong. So uh, the blue car, very easy to spot. There's our man there, number 60 with the onboard camera. And he's about halfway up the grid now, John. Yes, he's working his way through very well. He's just like behind Mark Dunlop, cart number 90. The other member of the Armstrong family was in there as well that time. There's Sean Doherty once more, and uh, Gary Armstrong still in second, but Gordon O'Brien doing a wonderful job to fend him off. Nigel Stewart very much in the picture as well in this one. And our on board now following number 53. Michael McCauley, that is, and let's see how long it takes him to fall, because the Fenny really on a charge here. Huge back bumpers on these cars, not afraid of a little bit of contact. In fact, he's down the inside, I think that's the horseshoe. He's managed to make up one place. But look in front of him, two places in front, John. Doherty is moving up as well, and he hasn't caught him yet. That's Dunlop just ahead of him this time, number 19, Mark Dunlop. And Mark is a, also a very regular front runner in pro cart, and uh, he's trying to find a way past him. The Benny, well, right in underneath is an understatement of the front bumper. Gordon O'Brien still bending off the opposition from Gary Armstrong. And Nigel Stewart, Nigel Stewart trying to find a way past Armstrong. Well, that's a great onboard shot there from Devenny. You could almost see what sprocket that man is running. We were so close on the back as they came down towards the start finish line that time. Well, you're finding the teeth there, are you? <laughs> I'm sure somebody else will be on this program. Number 90 there, still going well. And it could be anyway. Now we're almost up to Doggy. A little bit of contact with the approach to the horse two there. Remember, Doggy, very experienced. We've seen him win on RPM before, and he'll be looking to do it again today. Well, I'm sure Gordon O'Brien will enjoy watching this race and on television if it all works out for him, but he's now catching some of the slower drivers and just look at that traffic behind him and beside him, it's Nigel Stewart now in front of him. Perfect run down the inside for Nigel Stewart, just timed that absolutely. A little Ferrari badge in the front of the Formula 1 Ferraris were going this well, they'd be happy. <laughs> they certainly were, but Nigel Stewart on Portadown leading our regular visitor Gordon O'Brien is one of the black plates just ahead of them, and he was glancing anxiously back that time, cart 33, John Bell. And our man last, the late breakers there, I'm getting another place, now he's up and can have a go at Sean Doherty 77, but he really is uh, driving super early, we're losing a cart there on the outside, let's see how long it takes him to get up to this train in front. There's number 30, Nigel Stewart, and uh, all these guys, if they have rear view mirrors, they'll be looking at them, I'm sure they know that Benny is a danger man, there's number 90 right out over the curves. 22 and 77 having a good run now, that's Doherty and indeed John Laffin. So Laffin going well, and not in the overall points, unfortunately he's not in the standings, but going well in this race, here's Doherty down the inside, but look bringing right. with him our man. Yeah, right behind him, Robert Devenny, challenging Doherty, he's coming in the latter stage of this one very, very quickly indeed, while his tyre were or whatever, are they changing conditions here at Knox Corner? That's Sean Doherty using an awful lot of curve that time to try and get away from the intentions of Robert Devenny. And the leader's just ahead of him in the Carrick Fergus Devenny. Driver Devenny, very experienced, has been in many classes over the years, has come back to kart racing this year, right with and right past Sean Doherty, I think this time, as they approach the Herpen. Doherty in the kitty litter almost. 
I don't think you saw him come in there. You saw a shot look over his shoulder to the man. I said, could be him. He started all the way at the back, but it is him. It's our onboard cameraman now, and he's right up to third place, I think. So this is great stuff from him, and this will help him in the points. He's looking very, very strong. If he can get a little, a few more places up, he may win this overall. Number 30 in the Ferrari Pro Car, still right to the out in the front, and he's having a great run. Good battles there in the background, just people taking lumps out of the camera. Around goes number 47. That's Gary Armstrong, and we saw him earlier, and it's 22, kicking up a little bit of dust. That's laughing as well. Big battle for the lead now, John. Nigel Stewart still just spending off our long-time leader, Gordon O'Brien. He lost Armstrong and Lappin, who have been very much in the battle there in the closing stages. That must be the betting. Our onboard camera coming through the second now, to perhaps challenging Nigel Stewart. Robert Defenny driving a very good race from pretty far back and giving us some wonderful television here. And he's still being challenged by Gordon O'Brien as well. Race Pro Tax Max is remember senior Max and he's come back into Pro Cards for a bit of fun. And what fun he's having. Started all the way at the back and really does look fantastic as he comes up through them. All the overtaking just down the inside, timing it perfectly. And just as I say, he must have heard him. Has another go on he's uh, being rebuffed there by number 30. And uh, fighting back at the outside. Someone else having a look. 91 down the inside. O'Brien takes it back. So it's all action at the front of the Pro Cards, John. Yes, so Brian and now leads this one. He led in the early stages of this one. There's Sean O'Doherty out over the curves once more. Nigel Stewart coming back once more. This one certainly is not resolved and Devenny is right in the middle of it as well. Classic move there, went down the inside, back to the outside, cut across the back of the lead. Didn't work quite too well, he's out in the grass, and look at this, right round the outside. He's under attack now from 90, but it just leaves him out there on that long right-hander. And it's Gordon O'Brien who heads down into the last couple of corners of this pro-card race up Nuts Corner here at Easter. And looks like he's going to hold on, he's set the hairpin for the very, very last time, just a dive down the line, he's still looking back, anxiously over his shoulder, Robert McVenny is in second, another glance at the line coming up, and it's just Gordon O'Brien from Robert Defenny via Clark Slate. Gordon O'Brien takes the win from Robert Defenny, Mark Dunlop, Tommy Fagan and Nigel Stewart, but Defenny has enough points for the overall win.